So Shiba did what we did not want Shiba to do. Shiba broke the downtrend, uh, sorry, uptrend uh, up here, uh, over here, broke to the downside, and uh, you know it's doing. You know it's not pumping anymore. The pump has stopped. Uh, this is confirmation of the that uh, uh, stoppage because the, you know this trend is broken right now. So it's kind of going sideways. So what we are looking right now for is actually where the bottom is gonna get uh, get in. Uh, where is it? Was this the bottom? Is it gonna go again da uh, down uh, uh, down here to the bottom and then? bounce up uh, out some kind of triangle up here to the towards the top like what we are looking for is where it's gonna stop where it's gonna find the bottom strength in the price and bounce up because we know if it goes down here it's going it's probably going down to zero again you know you don't want to go back all the way down there uh so but if it's bullish and everything looks bullish right now if it's bullish then somewhere around here you know there should be some kind of a some kind of a bottom some kind of a support some kind of a good level to bounce further on maybe this is it maybe it's right now creating just some kind of triangle up here we're gonna see uh, that actually might bounce and uh, it might be looking good so we're gonna we're gonna examine you know where where the bottom might actually kick in <laughs> too late adopter I guess I do. Uh, if you need some kind of help before we start, if you need some kind of help with picking coins, want to know what's good, what's not, what's pumping, what's not pumping, uh, what's next, next thing that's gonna do 20% up instead of just you know chasing the 20% pumps, uh, check out the Patreon. We do a lot of altcoins there. You know we look what's good, what's not, and stuff like that. That said, let's see what Shiba Inu is doing right now. Uh, in the Shiba Inu, let's just remove this number. So this is some kind of support, and this support is gonna still be uh, is still legit. Now that th this trend is broken, there is another trend that we are looking at right now and it's on one hourly time frame so we're gonna remove this trend and the next trend of course again we do not want to break uh it looks something like this uh you can see how nicely it is su getting supports up here if we break this on the downside again again we gotta look for a new support and that's down here at 0 0.21 uh so if we break this on the downside again uh, i'm looking at uh, the, uh this uh, level down here at 0 0.21 if we break that like we got we, we gotta go we, we're gonna go down, down for it so i think this this level down here it is very important level tonight break around uh 21 so this trend line over here might give us some kind of triangle happening over here and you can see here that we are getting very very close into the triangle right now so we are looking for the break to the upside or the downside so it is pretty close to where we're gonna break it uh, and let's see how the, the moving averages are working they are kind of working against us so we are at a very support right now and you can see here we tried to get above the moving averages right over here but then got crashed back below it right now getting back into moving averages it's so close before it actually just dumps a little bit more down now if it dumps uh, below this line down here uh, I would be looking all the way down at uh, what's that I would be looking all the way down at something like uh, what's that 21 28 give or take 21 22 uh, 21 22 give or take this level down here this is the the next major support for us uh, the way we see it uh, let's see on the daily weekly what we got here well, let's see daily do we have anything up here now i mean we we got some levels but they are below below us below us below us uh, big levels are down here actually big level big support levels is down here at 15 15 and then uh, you got this one around uh, 17. so if you look up here you can see that we technically if you start going down here this should be first support but if you break that you got a 17 and 15 and after 15 it's gonna be look bad guys uh, i'm gonna tell you right now if you go below 15 it's gonna look bad but we are not gonna look uh, to the downside we are looking towards the upside right now we are trying to find the bottom we're trying to find where the price will get support where the bulls <coughs> will come back in and uh, push the price up when the bulls will start where, where there will be enough bullishness to push the price up because i don't think this is done you know uh, the the altcoin season has not kicked off yet and this is just you know the start of the of the move and i think it's just you know consolidating before it actually you know goes higher but on the four hourly we are below the moving average up here it looks like it's gonna drop below the resistance up here so i'm looking at this uh, i'm looking at this uh, bottom here at 20 21 22 first 
Okay, it can go all the way uh, down to some kind of 70, but you know, you already see also this 50 moving average coming uh, um, coming towards the upside. So if we go down here, we'll eventually hit the 50 moving average. Now with the 50 moving average and the support down here, the 21, 22 might, might be a huge support for us and bounce us out of this triangle. Once we are out of the triangle, we want to get back above the 30, 30 levels up here, uh, 30, right? Once we are above the 30 or 3000, whatever, I think it's going to uh, create a new all-time high up here i think that's gonna happen if we can get support on this level up here this level together with the 50 moving average might give us enough support to bounce us out of the triangle and once we are out of triangle we're gonna break the 30 levels and when we break the 30 levels we're gonna break all time high once we break all time high we're gonna uh, pump again really really hard I think I think that might happen I think that's in the books already I think this is not done yet although it did 400% since uh, some kind of bottom down here it did some kind of like 400% up here you know so, so consolidation is needed and uh, wanted but you know we have to find the bottom first we have to buy so today on Shiba Inu, we are bottom chasers. We are looking for where the bottom is gonna kick in. Um, other other things to notice is if this just, for example, pump for or any reason it pumps, it needs to get back above the 29.79, around 30. So if it pumps before it gets to this level, just know that it needs to. If it wants to be bullish, it needs to pump back above this, above this pivot point, create another pivot point, higher high and stuff like that, right? So that's gonna be bullish signal. But the way I see it, if it breaks on the downside, we are looking some kind of 22, 21, and then um, bounce towards the upside. And then we're gonna see what actually doing after that. That said, subscribe to the channel. Come back tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna do new Shiba Inu video. You know, we doing this every day and uh, just following how this is gonna develop. Thanks for watching. Check out the Patreon link down below and uh, see you around tomorrow, guys. Bye bye.